Sputnik 1 The First Fellow Traveler Five centuries from now, when historians look back to the 20th century, it will be seen as one of vast human conflict and the opening of a new age. The launch of Sputnik 1 on October 4th, 1957, marked the first day in the space age when humanity took its initial infant steps off this planet and into the unknown. It was one of the most important events in the overall history of scientific achievement unlike anything else seen in history. It is curious that an event that marked the beginning of a new era had so little attention in works by American scholars. Perhaps it is simply because we as Americans did not achieve the first accomplishment into this age. That credit belonged to the Soviet Union. Why Sputnik has not received an overabundance of scholarly attention does not negate the fact that its launch was a world-altering event. It marked the beginning of an era that we still occupy. When the Soviet's so-called fellow traveler orbited the Earth, almost everyone recognized its importance as a world-changing occurrence. From an NBC commentator stating that Sputnik forevermore separates the old from the new, to Arthur C. Clarke calling it one of the greatest scientific advances in world history, thoughtful people then and now see the Soviet satellite as the center of a whirlwind of change that occurred during the latter half of the 20th century. There has also been an almost uniform thesis regarding Sputnik's impact on the American people. Once Sputnik 1 was launched, the American people became more fearful about the status of U.S. defenses and technology, and America's leadership failed to appease them for some time. This theory has been advanced through books, articles, documentaries, and more for the past 40 years. Almost all of America's future space efforts were born in the aftermath of Sputnik, as its leaders and the general public encouraged scientists and engineers to think big and find new ways to create spectacular space-related accomplishments. The National Aeronautics and Space Administration, or NASA, was born in this atmosphere. America's satellite development, astronaut program, and projects that would eventually land the first people on the moon were developed under NASA's banner. While Sputnik made its imprint on America's early space efforts, so too did President Dwight D. Eisenhower, who has not received nearly enough credit for his contributions to the American space program. It was his firm belief that space exploration should be a civilian endeavor only supported by military resources that led to the creation of NASA as a civilian organization. This action showed the world that the United States wanted to explore space for the benefit of all humanity. It was also President Eisenhower who approved of the initial funding for what would become the Mercury program that sent America's first astronauts into space and the first funds for research into rocket engines that would ultimately develop into the Apollo Saturn booster series, the very machines that made the moon landing possible. Satellites have not only proven to be useful for gathering intelligence or scientific data, they have altered the very fabric of our lives in terms of how we interact with and use technology. The live reports from all over the world the viewing public sees on the news today is made possible by satellites. Television in general has been revolutionized by its satellite technology, replacing the old methods of broadcasting that involved airing a show on the East Coast, then sending a kinescope copy to California to air on the West Coast. Phone technology and telecommunications have been greatly improved by the use of satellite communications. In a sense, they have made the world smaller as images and sound are now plunged through the ether at the speed of light, reducing time and space to milliseconds. Satellites have made modern weather prediction possible 
saving tens, if not hundreds of thousands, of lives since the first weather satellites orbited the globe over 40 years ago. Sputnik 1's transmission represented the first step in that process of change. When Americans witnessed the Sputnik satellites orbit the Earth, launched by their Cold War adversary, they too decided that many things were not good enough. They witnessed the dawn of the space age, and although the initial reaction by most may not have been all that positive, this fellow traveler eventually inspired future generations of Americans to reach out for the stars.